In the name of Allah, the most merciful and the entirely merciful. All praises due to Allah, the Almighty, the most merciful. And may Allah's peace, mercy, and blessings be upon his final and last messenger, Muhammad. And may Allah's peace, mercy, and blessings be with each and every one of you, dear viewers, watching this new video. At the very outset, my dear viewers, I'd like to stress the stance of Islam when it comes to respecting and honoring the dignity of each and every human being. And that's irrespective of any other consideration, be it one's uh, gender, be it one's ethnicity, be it uh, one's uh, physical or uh, mental condition or any other consideration. All human beings without any exception are worthy of all respect and all dignity. And we clearly see this, as a matter of fact, encapsulated in the noble Quranic verse in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states at the very beginning of it, وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي Adam," And that's indeed, we have honored all the children of Adam. So very briefly, when we look into this verse and reflect on it, we see how is it Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses this emphasis when uh, we look into the verse as it reads وَلَقَدْ and that's indeed without any doubt verily then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says we have honored the children of Adam and you see here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala using the royal we in order to show us that this is the justice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most high, who clearly emphasizes and stresses this. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says as well in the very same verse, we have honored the children of Adam without any exceptions, without any limitations or any form of constraints in order to teach us a very important lesson. And that's the dignity of each and every human being is a right that is given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And definitely this dignity of each and every human being necessitates and entails by default showing the utmost respect to the freedom of belief as well as the freedom of worship. And thus it becomes clear that it is our responsibility as human beings, as believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one and the only creator of everything in the universe to be responsible and to take action in order to ensure the safety of the places of worship and the worshippers, irrespective of the faith that they belong to. That's it for this episode. I leave you in the care of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wishing you all the best. Until then, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.